Hey guys, what's going on? It's Roth. We're here at Comic Con with the cast of I Zombie. We've been talking a lot about this show on the site. We have not seen it yet. They wouldn't let us see the pilot, but it did debut here at Comic Con. Um, talk to me a little bit about what your experience has been like. How did the fans react? You have a lot of experience with sort of the fandom at Comic Con. Talk a little bit about how this is different, the same. Uh, this, this, we had a great panel and we were lucky that, you know, we showed, we showed the fans a good snippet of like 13 minutes or something like that. And it was a really well cut together piece of, of, of the pilot. And, uh, the fans came at us with some great questions, even like some suggestions of what direction <laughs> we should go. Just but, one note. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, it, it's, it's, uh, it's been, it's been overwhelmingly positive, uh, now the basic premise of this is obviously there's a woman, she's attacked, she is a medical examiner, she becomes a zombie, and then it becomes kind of a procedural crime thriller sort of, this is our take on it. I love, if you guys don't know Rob Thomas, he created Veronica Mars, which is a great series, really funny guy, and now he's moving into genre. So we know that he can nail sort of the detective work with her. Right. Talk a little bit about the genre side, the zombie. How does this fit in with other genre zombie shows that are currently on the air or coming? Well, firstly, I think I think Rob described this as more of a of an infected. This isn't like, like it's um, more 28 days later, more 28 weeks later was his kind of inspiration for what the zombies were like. And it's it's it, rather than George Romero, it's it's faster pace and a little bit more kind of biohazard rather than that that thing. And, and each. Um, the opening scene on the boat, which uh, that we, we previewed here as well, you can see there's a, there's a certain mm -hmm. kinetic energy to it, there's a speed to it, uh, and, and danger and threat, and, and I think he did well. <laughs> now let's talk about just the basics, if we can just run down the line and talk about your characters. For those who don't know, who aren't familiar with the material, who you're playing and how you're sort of related to the zombie apocalypse, because I believe you are the only one. It's not an apocalypse, by the way. That was a vast exaggeration. <laughs> that they, a season it's four. It's a small outbreak. Yeah. Um, you are the only one that is aware mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. Let's talk. Well, I uh, play Detective Clive Babineau. I'm a rookie homicide detective for the Seattle PD and I'm not very good at my job. <laughs> uh, uh, so I'm desperate to get my first collar. So um, I, use his, I use Liz, uh, her visions is passed off to me as psychic abilities, and I run with that. I, right. I use that to help me out solve the girl's murder. Because the idea is, just so that you guys know, is that she eats brains to sustain yeah. herself, but when she does, she takes in the memories, so she's gonna help solve crimes. That's where the procedural aspect comes in. Yeah, that, yeah that's where it leads towards, yeah. And you work with her in, talk yeah, a little about her. I play uh, Dr. Ravi Chakrabarti, who's a forensic pathologist at Seattle Police Morgue, and uh, she works, live works with him. Um, and he, you know, conducts autopsies on people who have died under suspicious circumstances and notices brains have been missing from some of the corpses. <laughs> Where and are the brains? He puts a little paper trail together and, and catches um, Liv red-handed. And he's, yeah, he's the only good guy, I guess, because obviously your character knows her secrets. And, you see, I figured that out at a press thing, actually, there's two <laughs> of us. But I'm the, I'm the only good guy who knows that, that she well, that she's a zombie. And he's kind of into the idea, right? Yeah, like he thinks he's kind of cool. Yeah, he's, he's completely enthusiastic. He treats, she's like the greatest medical find of the modern age for him, you know? She's she's having all these sort of uh, she, readings that are just way off the charts and, and it's it's his enthusiasm to study her and and also ultimately try and cure her, that, that motivates him. And, and also his enthusiasm makes her feel like it's less of a dirty secret, yeah. I guess. And helps her come out of her shell. And you are the ex-fiance, right? Yeah, I'm the uh, the ex-fiance who is in the dark about her uh, recent, uh, you know, undead state. So I, I just think like maybe my fian ex-fiance is going through like a real heavy hot topic emo phase, <laughs> and, and I'm still trying to make the relationship work. Um, you know, unbeknownst to him, his now ex-fiance is a zombie. Yeah, I mean that's kind of the fun, interesting part for me because at one point it's, it just becomes silly that you don't notice that she's a zombie. Uh, yeah, it's funny because. The opening scene is us, all the loved, her loved ones who, you know, don't know what's going on, having an intervention. And, and it, to me, it's like, 
maybe we just have to assume she's getting like real de- the deep tracks of the Fallout Boy albums and just really yeah. embracing the darkness. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Otherwise, the white hair, the yeah. heavy eyeliner. I kind of feel like it makes for some great comedy potentially. That's what I'm yeah. hoping for. You are full of evil villainy. Let's discuss. Yes, yes. <laughs> I, I play Blaine De Beers, uh, who's a collar popping, entitled rich kid who's a who's also a drug dealer and he deals a drug called Utopium, which may or may not have something to do with our zombie outbreak in question. Uh, it does. Um, <laughs> spoiler alert. Yeah. It's late in the day. It's Just spoil it. Uh, and I become a zombie at the same time that uh, Liv becomes a zombie. Oh, but you're an evil zombie. I'm an evil zombie. She's, she's, she's trying to you know get through the day and she's learning how to cope with her new uh, undead life. Uh, and I'm embracing it. Embrace the darkness with yeah. her, but for real. Okay, for real. I like the sound of it. We actually have a question from our community, and it is from Kristen who asks, what is your favorite zombie movie? I would throw in, what's your favorite zombie movie or TV show? Mine uh, is. Oh, you son of a gun. <laughs> yeah. You no, son my, of a gun. My, my, <laughs> mine is, I didn't say this in the panel. You, you still got yours. I didn't say, I did a, a zombie movie called The Revenant that four to five people have seen, <laughs> but I'm very proud of it, so go check it out. <laughs> they were repeat viewers. They loved it. Um, so all of our favorites is The Revenant. Yeah, we are say. those four people, <laughs> by the way. Uh, you know what? I, earlier today, I um, I had a different answer, but I'm going to go with uh, World War Z. Okay. Love all the right. way they portrayed the zombies. Fast. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you like the fast zombies. Yeah, I love it. They were like, Climbing the intensity on each other. was insane, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. They were yeah. all slow. They actually ran into each other. It's yeah, yeah. not my favorite, but I see why you like it. It's like full of action. It's full of intensity. What's your favorite? I was gonna go with Diane said earlier, and she had a good call. She said Shaun of the Dead, yeah. but I'm gonna I'm yeah. gonna come away from TV. I'm gonna go with the game. I'm gonna say Resident Evil One nice. and The Last of Us are the two I share. And it's infected, so it's kind of zombie. You're speaking to our audience, yeah. There you go. How about you? What's the film with uh, with Will Smith is the last man on earth? I am legend. I, I am legend. I am legend. Consider zombie. We will allow it. We're gonna allow it. Huh? The judges will allow what it. What are the judges? <laughs> the judges, the judges will have allow said it. yes. The judges said it's good. Guys, World War Z is my favorite. World War Z is actually. <laughs> <laughs> I like World War Z. I love the I am legend, but um, I love World War Z. That's that. That's my favorite that was right now. a little now. bit sneaky. This is our. This is your Comic Con. That, like we said, you probably have a little. What's it like for you guys? I know that you're kind of a big gamer. Mm. You love this stuff, right? Are you having a great time being oh, here? Oh, this is this is insane. I mean, I <clears throat> I queued up at the London one to get yeah. Anthony Daniels to see three PO's autograph, <laughs> and then like flash forward, and I'm at a panel at San Diego, the big one, and it's you know I'm seeing the cosplayers walking around, and it's just I want to have a photo with everyone, but. Well, we, we've got things to do, so you can get. Yeah. But I'd love to come it's back. Always and, time for that. Yeah, no, I, I, I um, we've got quite a tight schedule, but it's, it's killing me. I'd love to come here and really experience a good couple of days here. I wanted to see the Star Wars Rebels panel, and I didn't get to. I want to see Arkham Knight. So, yeah. yeah, I'm freaking out, but I'm keeping it. You know, we talked to them, and you can learn all about it on IGM.com, actually. But what we want to know now is when I really, truly cannot wait to see iZombie. I love Rob Thomas. I'm so excited for you. The show, you guys are great. So tell the peoples. When can they see it? We actually we don't have a firm date for you. We're in mid season. We do know one thing it's going to be on your television. Yeah, it's yeah, mid season. <laughs> yeah, and we can say 2015 early. On the small box. Yeah, the big box. <laughs> Look out for Isaac. How big is your box? Depending on how big your box. <laughs> Hashtag that, guys. I want that yeah. to trend. Hashtag big box. <laughs> Look out for iZombie. Keep it locked here to IGN for all things zombies and Comic-Con. 